Hey, hey everybody, today we're going to look at the negative externalities of production diagram. Just the diagram, I'm going to show you how to build it, how to construct it, the way the logic of it. Remember, these things are logical, there's no mystery here. You can figure it out, you just got to get it lined up in your brain. And the most difficult thing with this stuff is just trying to get it squared away in your mind. And once it is, the cool thing about economics for almost all students is once it's in there, it's in there. Okay, so here you go, just the graph. Okay, remember, a negative externality of production means that the production of something is causing an external damage to something else. So production, 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 whether it's a positive externality of production or a negative externality of production, it's going to do something with the supply curve, what we used to call the supply curve, which is the marginal social cost and the marginal private cost curve. When these line up, remember, the logic here is that when there is perfect uh, allocative efficiency, these things line up and they're actually two lines on top of one another. But when there's a negative externality of production, that means that the marginal private costs is going to be less than the marginal social costs. So this line, the marginal social cost cur curve, is going to be moved upward away from being on top of the marginal private cost curve. And here's what it would look like. Bam. Check it out. So this marginal social cost curve was underneath the marginal, was on top rather of the marginal private cost curve. <laughs> it got moved up. Why? Because there's some sort of negative <clears throat> externality of production. The production of something is damaging third parties. And the example that we used in the other video was that there was a paint company that was producing paint and as a result was polluting the air. And as a result, there is a mar there's a social cost to society greater than what's represented by the private firm. And so the total cost actually to society as a whole is greater than the private cost to the firm. And therefore, there's an increased cost of the production of paint. And that leads to a different market equilibrium, a P2Q2, right? Which is where if this market equilibrium were met it would eliminate this outcome, which is a welfare loss as a result of the production of paint. Another way of saying that is that the private firm only cares about its individual costs, right? It's private costs. But the production of paint creates an additional cost to society. And as a result, the optimal Point, price quantity combination that would be preferable in the marketplace would be point A, P2, Q2. But the firms don't care, right? Without government intervention, they're going to produce out here. And so we're going to have an overproduction of paint, right? At P1, Q1, that does not represent the total cost of production of paint. So the government's going to get involved because the government's like the parent of the household. And they're going to figure out a way of getting rid of this black stuff. They're going to try to make this black thing as small as possible. And there's a couple solutions that they could do. One would be to tax firms to increase their private costs. So they're going to try to get that private cost MPC up. They could legislate by banning polluting firms or restricting output in some way, or they could do tradable emissions permits. Those are the three options. Take a look at the other video if you want more information on what they mean. The easiest example in terms of drawing a graph is to tax the firms. So what would that look like? Well, it's a government intervention tax graph that would look like this, right? So here's the marginal private cost curve. Remember, originally... The, this whole triangle, right, was black, but now as a result of the government intervention and the addition of a tax, it has pushed the marginal private cost of the production of paint upwards, and we've created a new equilibrium point here of P3, Q3, and the result will be that the total welfare loss has been reduced to this little triangle dude right here. Look at that. So the government got involved. That's the solution. That's what you could talk about in your valuation. And that, my friends, is not only the negative externality of production curve, but also a solution. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you need more information, check out the, the full video on negative externality of production, both on the graph and the possible solutions. I hope you found it helpful. Talk to you in a bit.